Jen, I'm Erin, and we are, of course, against raising the driving age to 18. We um, believe that the driving age should stay at 16. Um, my first claim is that the number of teenage crashes is not as high as some may think. My second is that the current GDL system has been effective and with minor changes could improve its results. And my third claim is that raising the driving age will not um, will only move the crash rates up to a higher age group. So to begin, um, there are less teen crashes now than there used to be. Um, in the AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety analyzed data on fatal motor vehicle crashes from 1998 through 2007 and I identified all fatal crashes involving a 15, 16, or 17 year old. Over these 10 years, there were 24,655 drivers involved. These crashes killed 28,138 people. 36.9% were the 15, 16, and 17 year old drivers. Over the years analyzed though, there were 776 fewer drivers involved in 2007 than in 1998. And I would like to point out that the number of crashes, it seems like a lot if you're just looking at that, if you're just given the number close to 25,000, that's a lot of deaths. But if you compare it to something else, um, it doesn't seem like such a big number. Uh, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention uh, reported in 2006 that the leading cause of death in the U.S. was heart disease, killing 631,636 people during just that year alone. This number is almost 22 times the number of teen deaths over 10 years. So I heard a couple people like seem surprised about the number. Not to say that it's not bad, but if you compare it to other things, the number is not nearly as bad as it seems. Um, if you look at the percentages for uh, the number of accidents by age group, you'll see that it increases with age. The U.S. Census Bureau um, received information from the National Safety Council in 2007 showing that uh, the percentage of 16-year-olds involved in accidents were 2%. The number of 17-year-olds 17 um, 17 drivers involved was 2.9%. The number of 18-year-olds involved was 3.4%. So it does increase um, if you look at the percentages. Um, okay, and higher um, age categories have an increased number of unintentional injuries which would involve car accidents. Um, in this same table that I mentioned earlier from the CDC, um, the number of in unintentional injuries for 15 to 24 year olds is 16,229, whereas the number for 35 to 44 is 17,354. And I do realize that other numbers do fall into that category, but you can consider the fact that car crashes do fall into that. And moving on to the adherence date, the, driving the number of driving accidents decreased with experience. Um, the GM published uh, something called as the Family Guide to Teen Driver Safety and includes two graphs um, stating that novice driver's risk begins to drop with experience. The graphs don't incorporate age, just the fact that someone is a new driver. <coughs> There were about 120 crashes per 10,000 miles in the first month of licensure, and by the 12th month, there were a little more than 60 crashes per 10,000 miles, so you can see that it de decreases by half. Um, the other graph in this publication shows, um, says that the crash risk drops more than two-thirds after the first 1,000 to 1,500 miles of independent driving, so experience plays a big part. Yes, 16-year-olds may be immature, but if you give an 18-year-old, if they just start driving, they're not going to have the experience. So I would like to <coughs> move on to the GDL system. Um, in the Teen Crashes Every Night is at Risk, published by the AAA Foundation, there's a table showing the people killing crashes involving young drivers by <coughs> state, covering the years 1998 to 2007. On this table, I highlighted the states with less than 30% of the young drivers killed. The states highlighted were Arizona with 29.1%, California 29.2%, District of Columbia 18.8%, .8, Florida 29.4%, and Nevada 27.3%, Nevada and New Jersey 29.9%, which is one of the states that I will mention. Um, on the Governor's Highway Safety Association website, they have a table including the GDL laws by state. 
So I compared these laws to another publication by the AAA Foundation um, and their list of the seven components of GDL. Under this list, they stated the difference between crash involvement rates were 38% to 40% lower in states where any five of the seven defined GDL components were enforced. All of the states I listed earlier with under 30% of teen drivers killed have at least four of the seven GDL components enforced. In California, District of Columbia, Florida, Nevada, and New Jersey, five or more components were met. So these states, um, these states have at least five of the seven components met, um, which is what the suggestion is. If you have any of these five, then the, it should be effective. Um, so to support my findings, I'd like to share information from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. Uh, they published a study titled Rigorous Graduated Teen License Programs Reduce Traffic Fatalities. In this study, they state, GDL programs reduce overall traffic fatalities among 15 to 17 year olds by 5.6% or 131 teen deaths per year. More rigorous programs were more effective. The states that I listed earlier have more rigorous programs because they have more of the components enforced. Are um, repair to it because it does in other states not work as well as it should would be to change um, the age that you get your learner's permit at to 15 instead of 15 and a half and require that you hold a permit for at least a year instead of six months because in some states um, they actually experience seasons so there might be snow or ice and if you get your permit during the summer and you only have it for six months you'll never experience driving in these conditions with somebody who can help you get through it and um, those are based on uh, California's laws and we wanted to uh, we won't okay um, these are based off of what we ha what the laws already are in California and we're changing these and we think that the laws that we currently have in California plus these changes should be applied to all of the states so that they all can have the same beneficial results and Finally, um, increasing the driving age to 18 um, would decrease accidents of 16-year-olds, but it would only move the crash rate up to 18-year-olds. Um, i got to cut you off. You're at 745 now. How did it get that? 745? Yeah, in other words, you've spoken for 7 minutes and 40, 51 seconds. I don't know what your timing is doing, but I got I the camera timer timing here. Throwing me oh. off, I'm sorry. Yeah, I kind of skipped the minute on somewhere. <laughs> okay, so I thought I, I had more time. Okay. Sorry. Okay.